We got the three best Chrome extensions for Roblox. They're also available for other browsers and they're all free. The first extension is Rogold. This one has a ton of features. It's free. You can even get it on mobile through their app on the App Store. And they even have an ultimate version coming out soon, which revamps the entire UI of Roblox and it adds a few really cool features. So I will show that in a second. But first, let's go into just the regular free Rogolds. So we're going to start off at the home page. As you can see, first thing is it brings back this avatar thing right here on the home page. It also says evening because it's the evening right now. And if it's like midnight, it'll say night or morning. It's really nice. So pretty cool. And then if I go down a little bit, you can see I have pinned games right here. I have my two games and I can even get more slots if I want. I can even have favorites on here. So very nice. Just a few additions to the homepage. I'm going to go over to my profile. There's a few cool features that it adds to the profile. First of all, you're able to see the wrap of any account if they have their inventory not private. So for me, I can see how much wrap I have. I can even see how much my outfit's worth. And this works for every profile. So I can just go to my random friend and it'll show you their wrap and what items they own. And of course you can see their outfit cost. Now we're gonna go over to the catalog. There's a few cool features on the catalog. So first you can quickly buy hats, like very quickly. Like if I wanted to get these neon horns right here, normally I would have to click on it and then I would have to wait for it to load. Then I would click buy, then click buy now. All you need to do is click get buy now, you're done. Very quick, so pretty nice to buy things on the catalog really quickly. Also relating to the catalog, if you go over to the Rogold settings in the normal Roblox settings page and you go to profiles, you can actually copy anybody's outfit and it's really easy. So you click this little link right here and you're brought to this page here. So you have to enter somebody's username. Let's do like Flamingo, for example. So I put Mr. Flim Flam, search, and then it will show you all of their outfits. And what's really cool is not only you can see all their outfits, you can also then just click on any outfit. You're able to see the individual items. So if you just wanted to get these Cletus overalls here, you could just click it and then buy it. Or you can just click copy outfit and it will buy the whole thing for you. Of course, if you have enough Robux, it will just buy the whole thing for you. So yeah, really cool feature. Now let's go over to the friends page. There's a couple of cool features here on the friends page. So if I go over to friends, first of all, you're able to favorite your friends. So if I click this little star icon here next to my friend Andre, and then I go back to home, best friends is now here above friends. And you're able to literally pick whoever you want as long as they're on your friends list. And it will show in its whole own tab, which is super cool. Very helpful if you want to see when your specific friends are online or when they're playing a game and stuff. You might have a lot of friends and you want to see specific people. Very helpful. You're also able to bulk remove people. So maybe you're trying to, you know, remove all your friends. You have too many friends. You want to go back to zero. You don't have to actually click on their profile and then click unfriend. It takes too much time. You can just check your entire friends list. You're also able to see when they were last seen on Roblox just from the friends list, which is actually really helpful. So you don't have to actually go to their profile if you have an extension that does that for you. You can just see it on your friends list. It's pretty nice. Also on groups, there's a few more features. Nothing huge, just adds like active favorites, visits. Pretty cool. And also shows when the specific group was made, like the exact time when it was made. Now we're going to go over to the games page because there's actually quite a lot of features when it comes to games. So let's go to Bloxburg here. So first of all, you can pin the game as I showed on the homepage. If I go over to servers, you're able to join a fast server or a small server. This is really helpful. So normally if you just click here, it's gonna put you in a server with usually almost full people and it might not be super fast. It might be laggy and stuff. Here you're able to join the fastest server possible or the smallest server possible, which is very helpful if you're trying to get your friends in the same server as you. And you're also able to see the average FPS and ping of all these servers. Very nice. I save the best for last. This is probably one of the coolest features I've ever seen on an extension. You're able to view banned users. Like you're able to see their entire profile. So I had to go over to the Roblox wiki, find some banned users. I picked this guy right here. He was banned like a long time ago, probably like 10 years ago. You're able to search their username. This works for any terminated user on Roblox. And you're able to see their entire profile as it looked when they got banned, like right before they got banned. This guy got banned 10 years ago, so it's a little bit different. You know, they have some, they have eggs here and very old stuff, old groups. It's a really cool feature, honestly. There's probably a few more features that I forgot to mention. So I'll show a little screenshot here of all the features on the Chrome extension description. And before I go into the next extension, which is amazing, I have to really quickly show ultimate version of this extension, which is coming soon. And it's actually gonna be a paid extension. Now this ultimate version is actually really cool. First of all, the entire homepage is very different. You can see a lot of games on here. The friends thing has like rings around it. This whole thing here is revamped. So basically it just changes the UI of a lot of stuff. And there's a few very cool features also. But yeah, as I go through like all these pages, a lot of stuff is just revamped and this isn't even completely finished yet. So it's gonna get even better in the future. It changes a lot of UIs. There's two really cool features I want to quickly show. The first one is track unfriend. So if somebody unfriends you, they'll show you 
notification showing you who unfriended you. And this other one is appear offline. This is probably the coolest feature I've ever seen on an extension, hands down. Normally your computer is sending pings to Roblox that you're online or you're in a game and this will send pings pretty much automatically. You're not really able to change it. You can't just like tell Roblox you're offline if you're on the website. You can't really do that. But with this extension, you can. You're able to click a button here that says appear offline. And as soon as you click that button, Roblox will no longer be getting pings from you. So it'll basically just say that you're offline and you're not on the website, even if you are looking at the website and you're going on different pages, it will still say you're offline. Now it does take a few minutes to actually update since their last ping was still saying that it was online website. But in a few minutes from now, it's going to say I'm offline even while I'm on the website. It's been a few minutes and it does not show the online website thing anymore. So I can freely go on any page pretty much as long as I'm not in a game. And it's going to say I'm still offline. Sorry for blinding you, by the way, but it says I'm offline right here. So very cool feature. You're able to go on any page you want. As long as you're not in a game, it will say you're offline. Now we have the second extension, RowPro. This is usually the extension that I leave on most of the time. And for good reason, it's a really good extension. It also has some paid tiers, but the free tier is really good. You don't really need the paid tiers. So let's go into the features and pretty much all these are free, so don't worry. So we're on the homepage. First of all, you're able to see your most played games in the past week, month, year, or all time. This is a really cool feature. I've been using it for a while now. Very nice to see what games you've played the most in the past month or all time. It's pretty cool. Also, really nice feature is you're able to quick search games and items. So let's say I wanted to play some Arsenal. Normally, I would have to type the thing here, then click experiences, click the game, click the play button. Instead of all of that, you can just type Arsenal into the search bar right here, and it's going to show up right here. And you just click quick play right here and it will join the game for you. It also works for limited, so if I wanted to see Dominus Aureus right now, I just put Dominus Aureus, and just like that, I'm on the Dominus Aureus page very quickly. Now we're on the games page. This is where there is a lot of features. First of all, you can see this looks a little bit different. It looks pretty nice. You're also able to pick any genre of game that you want. So if I wanted to play some plain games, I just put planes there and boom, I have plain games right here. If I wanted to play some horror games, I put horror and then boom, horror games, just like that. This is how it used to be, but then Roblox removed this a long time ago. They never added it back. So RoPro adds it back for you. It's pretty cool. Also, while we're at it, random experiences right here is a really nice feature to play a random game. So you can pick like the top 540 experiences on Roblox, then you just drag and roll the dice and there you go. It picks a random game for you. It's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna go to a random game and show a couple of cool features it adds. So first of all, it shows how long you've played the game since you got RoPro. You're also able to server hop. So if you don't wanna keep joining the same server over and over again, you just click that button. It's pretty nice. You're also able to see the exact number of likes and dislikes. Same thing with visits and active down here. Also the visits here are automatically updating every like five or 10 seconds. So pretty nice feature there. It's always updating. Same thing with the likes and dislikes, I'm pretty sure. You're also able to see the tweets of the game creator on the side here. So if, you know, if they tweet a new update for the game, you got this right here without having to actually go to their Twitter. And then when you go over to servers, this is a really cool feature. You're able to, first of all, you're able to see which region all the servers are in. You can also join your most recent server. That can be helpful in a lot of different situations. And then you have server filters over here. Now these four are paid only. So if you want to get the paid version, there, there's some pretty cool stuff here. Server region, best connection, newest server. But you get these four for free. So smallest servers, available space, player count. You can get like a specific server with 20 players or less or just random. So very helpful. These server filters are really cool. Now we're going to go over to my profile. Now we're on my profile. There's a few cool features here. First of all, there's reputation. So I have 1,000. 1311 reputation and what that means is that row pro users have given me a little thumbs up here and every time that one person gives a thumbs up that's one new reputation so let's say i go over to like cv 10k he's a pretty popular user on roblox and he has 1641 reputation you're also able to pick a theme for your profile so maybe i wanted to do a cool christmas theme right here i'll just click that close the theme now my entire profile has this theme now that only shows for row pro users but if somebody has row pro and they go on your profile they're going to see this theme right here which is pretty cool. Another cool feature is if you go to anybody's profile, it'll show you how many mutuals you have with them. So not only friends, so it'll show you friends. It can also show you all this other stuff. So it can show you groups, limiteds, items. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Avatar has a few cool features too. So it'll show you your outfit cost on the avatar page. It'll show you you're currently wearing. You can refresh your avatar. 
And then there's this plus button here, which is a super helpful feature. If you click on it, it'll load for a second. So it has to load my entire inventory, which is a lot of items. It probably won't take that long to load for you. So it'll load your entire inventory and it's a little bit buggy. So I just type something and it takes a few seconds to show up, but I just typed headphones. All of these headphones in my inventory showed up that quickly. You can't really do that with any other feature on Roblox. Like it's very hard to find all the headphones that you use without actually having to go through your inventory, searching for it. So it takes a while. This feature is really helpful just to find all the items in your inventory. Now, when it comes to trading, this extension has everything for trading. You're able to see the value from Rollymons. You can see the demand rating. You can even see these whole graphs here, which will show you like the projected risk line, average daily sale price, recent sales, monthly trend circulation acronym. I mean, this gives you pretty much everything. You can see all the recorded owners of the item that you're trading. And of course you can see how much value you're gaining or losing from the trade. I mean, it gets really detailed. You can even blur the serials. You can flag the user you're trading with as a user bot. And then on top of all that, you can also go to a trade panel and these are subscriber only features, but all these are free here. You can decline inbounds, decline flagged trade botters, decline all trades. Really nice trade panel here. You can also let the extension automatically decline trades if it's at a certain loss percentage. So yeah, if you're a trader and you're not using this extension, you're missing out. The next extension is BT Roblox. And I'm gonna be honest, there isn't that many features, but there are a few nice features to have that I would combine with the other extensions in this video. First, it shows two columns of friends instead of one, which is pretty nice. You can also very quickly search users. So if I wanted to search up Hasm, for example, I would just put H and then it will show immediately all of my friends with an H in their username. And you can search for people that aren't even in your friends list. So if I wanted to look up Roblox, I just type Roblox and just like that, I'm on their profile that quickly. It also revamps the whole profile page. In my opinion, I think this design looks a lot better than the one that's normal. It also embeds inventories to people's profile if it's not private. 